the far ankle. Okay, dual leg control. Why do I like dual leg control? Because he can't stand and it makes it harder on to, for him to defend what I'm trying to do. Okay? Like, even if I'm just here, if I have both his legs trying to stand up, he'll never be able to stand up if I keep his feet off the ground. Okay. So, just knowing that basic principle, it's always good to have some kind of dual leg control. So, I like to go in, I'll come in, control, switch to the knee, ankle. Okay? I'm going to fall back on my back, and I'm going to turn where my knees are pointed towards his other leg. My foot will go on his hip to keep Devin down. This is one, okay? The, the Sambo Knot series, there's a set of four. This is one. Boom. All right, number two, I need to hide my foot. I don't want to sit here for too long because I don't want Devin fidgeting with my foot and like trying to push it off and come up and do stuff like that. Okay, so next would be to hide my foot. I'm gonna stick it inside and underneath his other leg. Okay, that's two. Notice my hands haven't changed. They won't change until the end. I want to control his legs through this. So I'm holding the knee, holding the ankle. Okay. Three, I'm going to pull my other leg out and bring it over the top. Four, I cross my ankles and sit up. Now you see I let go because I have to I sit up to close the space. Okay, I'm trying to get my butt as close to Devin's butt as I can. Try to pull your legs out and do like do anything. By the time he gets his legs free, I should be tapping him in some form or fashion. Okay, call the sambo knot. Our legs are all kinds of knotted up and it's hard for Devin to escape. Okay, so we're just gonna get there. We're gonna go through the series one through four. And then we'll get to the ankle lock here in a minute. But entrance, I enter, shin out, toes out. I cause pressure on his thigh, shelf his leg over my hip. Control the ankle, control the knee. Fall, I put my foot on a sit. One, two, leg comes inside. Hide my foot underneath this thigh. Three, leg out and over the top. Four, I cross my ankles. The outside leg was underneath the bottom. I sit up on my hand, scoop my butt to his butt. I'm in the sambo knot. It's also called four. Okay, this was like. Well, like back in the day when we were learning this like you would hear people yell out from across the room four That means people like got to this position. And you know the guy was about to get tapped Make sense. All right. All that makes sense guys need to see it again Good. Let's do it. Ready break